just before I give you a bit more of a detailed flip through, I thought you might like to see what uh, materials I took with me. So, I tried to be very light on the packing. I took, let's move that for a second, these things. So obviously a book, which was the homemade one. And I took this little Derwent set with me because the colours are really quite subdued. So it's from their line and wash set. I've added a few of my own brighter colours in these little pans and just put them in there. But the colours that Derwent produce are very subdued and I knew it was going to be rainy down in Devon. So I thought they're really quite British landscape colours. However, as always, I was very, very hopeful that we might get some sunshine. So I also took my little colour sheets from Viviva, both their standard one and their full set. I've done a full review of these colour sheets, so I'll put a link in the description. And they are pops of colour. And I was very hopeful that if the sun came out, I could use those. And if it rained, I could use those. I took a 0.4 fine liner with me in black, just the one. I took a water brush. Again, that actually came from my little Viviva colour set, so did the, the fine liner. I didn't take this just because I wanted to use an accordion sketchbook rather than an ordinary sketchbook. Um, while I was on holiday, I bought the most expensive glue stick in the whole of Devon, which is that one. <laughs> so everything we're going to look at was done with these materials, which was kind of cool. This is a homemade sketchbook and I put a pocket on the front, which is kind of handy for sort of little bits of ephemera that one, one collects, whether it be receipts or these were just bookmarks from a bookshop we went into. And this, which I thought was really funny, was cut off the, the front of some seagull poo, which was actually chocolate raisins we bought back from my son, but I just really liked the seagull and it made me laugh. Not sure it made him laugh, but he ate them. So in the, the accordion, I wanted to tell the story of my week down in Devon. So part of the links, obviously is linked simply by the fact it's an accordion sketchbook, but part of the link was also in the way I, I wrote and the fact that I've used pen throughout and, and so forth. Staying in Branscombe, and this was on the first day when it was grey and pretty jolly miserable. I tried to do this all in a continuous line and it's a really quick way of working because it was actually quite cold so continuous line just letting the line flow over the countryside and then adding colours and I use it as an opportunity to mix an awful lot of greys. We'd gone down to the sea and picked up a few shells and pebbles and I did this in the evening when we got back to our little cottage and again it was a it was an exercise in, in grey, so those were my treasures. And with this sort of sketchbook, it's made out of one continuous piece of paper, so you actually end up with a little pocket in there. So again, I've got, oh gosh, another receipt and indeed another bookmark. So I didn't paint over this, and a bit later in the book I'll show you one where I did. At one point we walked across these cliffs to, to get to Beer, which is the next village. It's only a couple of miles away over the cliffs but the walk out of Branscombe up here is <laughs> incredibly steep you get to about here and you can't talk it is <laughs> you're so out of breath and I used those Viviva colour sheets because it was it was a brighter day but you can certainly see the clouds coming in and it was um, threatening I think is the nice way of putting it I sat on the beach and painted the sea shanty this is a thatched sort of uh, there's a little shop selling ice creams and there's a little cafe here it's, it's a thatched I think it was a coal depot which is obviously being converted and it's right on the beach and then when we'd walked along to to beer I bought the most expensive glue stick in in Devon from a little shop because I wanted to do a little bit of collage I've been doing collage before we'd gone on holiday and I was really missing it so here I've got some newspaper that I've put in the 
the fishing boats are all pulled up onto the Pebble Beach in Beer. And I just ripped up some of the, the, the newspaper from that day and stuck it down and then the pen work on top and the watercolour. In fact, I think I did the watercolour first, then the pen work, just to crisp it all up. But of course, you can work backwards and forwards with it to get the, the effect you like. And I decided to use a bit of text to make it a little bit more interesting. The sky was just grey because it was grey all week. So I thought making a few notes, making this into more of a journal about our holiday was a good idea. So you can do an awful lot with not very much at all. And the next day, having bought this jolly glue stick, I was determined to use it. And we went into Sidmouth and we went to a bookshop and they gave us all these different bookmarks. They're all promotional bookmarks. So this was from ooh, Richard Osman's new book. Loved that bookmark, the cutout. I've used our ticket from the bus. I've used some receipts. I've used bits from the newspaper. I stuck them all down and then I just did a pattern in the background with some watercolour and that pen. Make it into a pleasing page that, that reminds me of a lovely day out. Friends for lunch. Lots of fun. And then we had a couple more incredibly grey days. These are the, the cliffs, the Hooken Cliffs that are between Branscombe and Beer, which are absolutely beautiful, but very grey on this day. And then I want to show you this. So this is another of the little folded pages with a cutout. So it's a little pocket. But on this occasion, I just ignored where the cutout was and, and went across it. So this was the view from the balcony of our, we had a little balcony in our cottage that we hardly sat out on because it rained so much, but I managed to do this picture. It started to brighten up a bit the next day, which is great. And this is using the Viviva colour sheets. So you can see what a difference the palette makes. These are the Dermont colours, that was uh, Viviva colours. If I go back to here, Viviva colours. So again, I've sketched that out with a pen and then just added little washes of colour bit of splatter to, and and made the pebbles for the for the foreground. We went on a wonderful boat trip from Exmouth along the Jurassic coast and the rocks were certainly not this colour but they were desert red and they were rising out of the sea and they'd been eroded so you've got rock stacks and I wanted to capture that colour so those pops of the Viviva colours really helped I hope to capture the the uh, desert these this would have been a desert with dinosaurs and over time it's been pushed up um, and to say eroded and then I had one page left when we got home with this little spread at the end so I thought how can I finish this off uh, my my sister and her boyfriend had joined us during the week so what I did was an image transfer all you do is print out your, your picture and i we have done this sort of selfie group. So I changed the colours around, sort of posterised it on the computer when we got home. And then you use matte or, or indeed gloss gel to stick it down onto the paper. Dampen the back once it's dry and you rub the paper off and the ink is left behind and it, it gives this wonderful effect. And again, I just use the writing to, to complete that image. That is my, my week's story of our holiday. All with really simple line and wash and a, a few extra things. So say next time I go, I'm definitely packing a glue stick. For me, when I'm looking at this, I just remember what lovely time we had despite the grey, despite the rain. I remember the steaming cups of tea or mugs of tea on the beach and you know the, the boat ride and the good company joy of keeping a holiday journal it just oh i don't know it, you're so connected with the place you are and all that comes flooding back when you look at it in in years to come